In this video, I'll show you how to use Speechello. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. So in this guide, I'm giving you a full Speechello walkthrough and basically a full tutorial on how to use it. Now, if you are interested in getting Speechello, I've gone and put a link down below in the comments and in the description. Now, this link is an affiliate link and I really do appreciate it and it supports the channel. So make sure to see it right until the end and let's go and get into this. The first thing you need to do is go and purchase Speechello. So all you want to do is go to the link in the comments or the description, click here, and it's gonna go and open up to a brand new tab. And then here we are, we can go and scroll down. It's gonna go and give you a ton of information. And then all you want to do is go and click buy now. And once you've purchased, it's gonna go and send you your login details to your email. And then let's go and get into this video. So once you've gone and bought Speechello and you've logged in, you're gonna be on this page here. And all you want to do is make sure on the left-hand side, you go and go under Speechello and then go and click on voice generator so click here it'll take a minute to load as you can see and there'll be a quick guide here but I'm sort of covering everything in this guide in this video hopefully a bit faster and a bit more straightforward so of course the first thing you want to do is go and see which you own so personally I just the standard speed cello now you can go and buy whichever you would like the difference between the pro and the worldwide is essentially you get access to more voices and a few more features um, so it all depends on what you want to be cello for but let's go and start over here. So under here, you go and type in the text you'd like. Now, as you can see here, there is a limit for 5,000 characters, but say if you have a script for 10,000 characters, then all you've got to do is split it in half. It doesn't mean you have to have a short voiceover because when you're editing, you can then go and combine the two voiceovers together and people won't even know that it will split in half. So that's just a quick get around for that. But all you want to do is simply go and type in what you'd like. So I could do something like, hey, um, welcome to this video. If you did notice here when I was doing an ex exclamation mark, it did actually give me a quick pop up saying they recommend adding more punctuation just because it helps the AI how to pronounce stuff and how to sort of make something sound. So it's really important to use exclamation marks, question marks and full stops. Now, after it says, hey, I want a bit of a pause just because that's realistic. You know, you'd have a little bit of a pause. So all you have to do is go and click add pause and you can go and choose for how long. So I want quite a short one, so you can drag this. So this is about 0.8 seconds. So I'll probably make it 0.6 and press OK. And then it's going to go and add it in just like so. And then when you go and render it out, it's going to have it included in this. And I'll be showing you that in just a minute. You can also go and adjust the speech as well. So click here and you can go and adjust the volume and the speaking rate by dragging this, say, clicking OK. And then it's going to go and add it in here. I'm not going to use this personally, but honestly, that's a really cool feature to have. And up here, we've got two features, including translate and import YouTube caption. So you can basically import YouTube captions. It's really cool. So you can go and sort of edit a voiceover really quickly. Um, but you do need the worldwide version of SpeechChatter for that. But you can go and upgrade it if you think you need it. Then in the top right, we've got a few stats. So as you can see, it shows us how many voices you've generated. I've only done three so far, as so I'm quite new to SpeechChatter, but I'm loving it. And I'm hopefully going to use it in the future as well. And it also gives you a few other statistics as well. But you don't need to worry about these too much. Then let's go into settings. Now settings is honestly really, really cool. And it's one of the best parts about Speechello. So first off, you can go and select the language. So currently I'm using English US. Um, I think English US does have the most options. So if we go say to English Irish, um, you've only got one, which is pro. Um, so I'm gonna stick to US for now, but you can go and change that to any um, sort of language or sort of pronunciation accent you'd like. Then we've got Engine. Now, Engine is really cool. So by default, it's usually on AI voice, but Standard is honestly super, super cool. It sounds a lot more realistic, and sometimes you wouldn't even think that it's actually an AI speaking. But you, with the AI voice, you can just have more like straight stuff, like AI tone, friendly tone, serious tone. With Standard, you don't have that flexibility, but it's still quite cool. And with Standard, you also get a few more options over here about breathing and emphasizing words. Then you can go and choose the voice as well. As you can see, some of these are for the pro version. And you can also go and preview all of the voices as well, so you know what they all sound like. But personally, I'm gonna keep with this Billy Joey, um, and that's pretty much it. So then all you want to do is you can go and click on preview voiceover and generate. So I recommend just going and previewing it first. So all you want to do is hit preview voiceover, and then it's gonna take a second or two to generate it. Depending on the length, let's go and listen to this. Hey. Welcome to the video. And that is how you can go and preview it and see if you like it. Then once you're happy with it, you want to go and click generate voiceover. And then it's gonna go and say your voiceover has been created and this will take different amounts of time depending how long your text is. 
So go and hit OK. Then all you need to do is scroll down and it's going to go and list every single voiceover you've done and it's going to show you the text. And then all you want to do is go and click download. Or you can go and click play again, but I'm going to click download. And then you can go and choose if you want to add background music. I'm just going to click no, just download. And then it's going to go and drop the download just here and you can go and open it up. Hey. Welcome and as you video. can hear, it's then going to play it. And honestly, guys, it's that easy. And guys, it is that easy to use Speechello. If you did find this video useful, please leave a like. And remember, Speechello is linked down below in the description and in the pinned comment. Have an awesome day. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.